Hey everybody, happy December is here. Holiday season is in full swing. Thank you so much for joining me for my coffee today. I have lots of things to share with you. So let me do that. And then we can totally chat and talk about all the fun and amazing things that are happening this month. So here we go. All right, so number one, what I also want to talk to you a little bit about more is just being safe and smart this holiday season. There's lots of packages that are being, being delivered, lots of people are out and about, and just some things just to be mindful about that we all know about, but sometimes because we're running around, we're getting things done, it's just not quite there. So leave the lights on get your packages, just be mindful about out and about. And maybe if you're going out shopping, go really early in the morning so that we can avoid all of the holiday rush. Uh, with social media and today's connected word, just be careful about who you talk to, what you click on. If you get some special deals in the email, make sure that they're actually from the retail stores that you're looking forward to. Uh, just be smart because this is where the scammers are out in full swing. Uh, with decorations and lighting, make sure that you're also being smart about the extension cords that you're using. Uh, just, you know, take advantage of the holiday season, but just be think and be smart about it. So I have some really good tips here as well in terms of the holiday season and some other fun stuff. So take a look uh, when you have a little bit more time when this video gets posted to our YouTube channel. Fun things to enjoy in December. There's lots of craft shows that are happening. This is one of my favorites that I go and do with my youngest daughter. We like to shop for things that are local, for things that are sometimes handmade because they're unique and they're different than some of the things that you see from the big retailers, which sometimes is just the same stuff over and over. Unique food things because I'm a foodie and I like to give those things to my family and friends. So take advantage and see what's in your own area. We also love light shows and we have a couple of them that are happening. So put them on your calendar, schedule them and enjoy them with your friends and family. Some other things that are happening right around the corner is, of course, Sesame Place, Longwood Gardens. If you haven't visited there, take the time to drive and spend, spend a day there. I have seen their, their holiday decorations, uh, right? I think we, my mom and I visited around the holiday season in December, and it was just breathtaking. The lights, the plants, the trees, they have indoor and outdoor the displays and it's just very, very thoughtfully done and it's just really pretty. So take a look as well. Of course, holidays at Pillars Village are always, am always amazing. Shady Brook Farm holiday light show is where you drive through in the car is really cool. And I know there's some other things that are happening around. All right, let's jump in and talk about your December home maintenance checklist. You know, I'm big on making sure that your biggest investment is truly safe. We have the same things that are uh, going around every month. And the two things that I have added to the list for this month is number one, check your smoke and your carbon monoxide alarms if you have gas in your home. And number two is give your home a deep inside clean. One of the things that my mom has always taught me that I took away and now I have that in my own household that I try to share with my daughters is the fact that you don't want to bring the dirt and the grime of the old year into the new year. So some of the things that we tried to do in the last week of December is like changing the sheets, making sure that that's clean, doing some really good cleaning a little bit of decluttering and organizing so that way when November 1st of uh, November January 1st comes around you feel like you're starting the new year fresh and on the right note and on the right foot so that is something that I always do I always take out the trash and the recycle on the 31st so that way you don't keep all that stuff and you bring in that freshness and the positivity into the new year when your home smells great um, I don't know if you like the um, the Fraser or Balsam fir pine smell. It's one of my all time favorite smells. Um, and then you know you decorate and you cook your favorite things and you bake your favorite foods and you, you enjoy the holidays and you take the time to enjoy them and also give yourself a little breather as well. Uh, one of my favorite uh, cleaning supplies to help you make that 
done, that cleaning get done as quickly as possible is the O-seater spin mop. Uh, the thing is that you can remove the head and throw it in the washer. It's easy to do and it's quick and it's mess free. So you can find it on Amazon or pick it up in your Walmart, Home Depot or Lowe's. Next up, don't forget the dryer vent cleaning. This is something that you can do yourself if you want to. You can use a cordless vacuum with a hose attachment. I have all of the, the supplies and the things here on how to do it. And if you're not sure, definitely find some videos on YouTube. I actually helped to do it. You can see some of these pictures actually my, my, when my husband and I did it in our own home. And this is what we got out of our own vent. And I've helped some of my older clients to do it with my leaf blower, depending on how long your dryer vent uh, pipe is. So that's the other thing that's important for you to consider. But this is something that I would recommend that you do at least a couple of times a year. Put it on your calendar. If you want it nice and simple, do it in January and then do it also in July. So that way you don't have to worry about and thinking about it. And when did I do it last? Just make it every six months on clockwork and make that as a priority because it's extremely important because I do know from some of my research is that uh, dryer vent lint a lot of the time is the leading cause of house fires. December holidays to celebrate. Remember, you don't have to do the, only the major ones. There's really cool ones that are coming up. Besides, December is one of my favorite months because this is my birthday is also on December 2nd. Uh, but writing a letter or note to someone on December 7th, maybe find, think about someone who really made a difference in your life or somebody that you truly appreciate and write them a note. I can't tell you how much of a difference that means to get a physical note in such a technology world where it's always text messages and emails. International Tea Day to me is truly special on December 15th. I'm a big tea drinker and I truly appreciate all different kinds of teas. December 21st is a National Crossword Puzzle Day. So ask us, we can email you one and you'll never know what you're going to receive. So let us know. Of course, Christmas, Kwanzaa, and December 28th, pick up the phone and call a friend. Maybe someone that you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe somebody that is your from your high school or college days. You never know what kind of conversation it can bring. And it could be just fun. So you never know. So give it a try. Overall, the month of December, we're celebrating national human rights, hand washing awareness, and it is also World AIDS Awareness Month as well. Of course, please join us. We are having fun workshops every month. The month of December is where we're rolling out all the new workshops for the month, for the year of 2024. In the month of November and December, we spend the time in doing some of the updating. We're constantly watching the industry and we are adding more and more tips and tricks and making it nice and new and fresh for you. So please join us. Take a look at the schedule at Live with Olga. So we have 14th and 18th, and then we're rolling into January with some of the fun things, doing home updates on the, on the budget with some new trends that we have for you that are kind of starting to show up for the new year of 2024. We're always doing decluttering because it is, a, is, it is definitely something that is going to be on the list for everybody. We see a ton of attendance in December, January, and February. And then January 2nd, we're going to be talking about uh, military VA home benefits. It's something that's very much dear to my heart. So we have quite a few veterans and active duty family members as well joining us. And as always, you can reach out to me. My phone number is here posted, my email. I actually pick up my own phone. I text and I email you back. So we have our free concierge service. We help you move anywhere in the United States and Canada. And recordings of all the workshop as well as all of these coffee shops you can find right on YouTube at Olga Seam here and at home with Olga. So that's what I want to share with you. Uh, I want to wish you a very, very, very relaxing holiday season. I know it's not easy. I was actually listening to the podcast today about some of the things, and this was just a good grinding, uh, grounding reminder for me as well, because I have a lot on my plate as well. Just some things to remind you to not only give to others, but also take the time to do the things that you enjoy and give yourself some grace. 
and give yourself some time to recharge as well, not just always be there for others. So have a wonderful holiday season. Have a wonderful time planning for the new year. And I'm sure I will see you soon. So thank you so much. We'll see you next month.